All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. So listen, man, I get it. You clicked on this video for a reason. You are preparing for a little Netflix and chill, a little quarantine and chill, or everything is done and you are free to move out and about. This video is about 10 fragrances that drive women wild. Now, when you're thinking about fragrances that drive ladies wild, you have to think about things that they enjoy. So likely fragrances have to be aromatic, they have to be sweet, they have to be inviting. And this fragrance that I'm going to mention first is all of those things. It's sweet, it's aromatic, it has honey, and it also has tobacco. Now, this one is in the number 10 spot simply because um, this one is a recreation of a fragrance. Um, but I've talked about this one a ton, and this one has made a ton of lists for great reason. This one comes from Alexandria fragrances and this one is 1981x yes man sweet tobacco inviting fragrance this is one that uh, you can walk around spray this thing on and you are going to garner attention this one does get you compliments from the opposite sex or the same sex whatever it is that you are into this one will put you on their radar man i am happy to have this one in the collection i've loaned this one out to many of people to wear whether it was for day parties out clubbing dates etc um this thing has always come through like a champ so despite this one being a clone of a george fragrance this one uh, definitely stands up and gets the job done for a much better price point. So 1981X from Alexandria Fragrances. This next fragrance is one that is a bit more difficult to find and one that is top tier when it comes to the Dior Homme line. This one is Dior Homme Parfum. Now this one is everything that you need in the fragrance. This one has so some floral notes with the rose. This one also has some sweetness and um, Ghana's compliments. So this one is, as I stated, a little more difficult to find than others within the Dior Homme line. This one, from my understanding, is yet to be reformulated. This is a 2014 release, and if you have this fragrance or if you can find it, then this is definitely one that you can spray on, wear. This one is sexy, it's sophisticated, it's warm, and um, it's going to get you the attention that you're looking for. Now, I've come across this fragrance in a few places. This one was actually picked up for me in in Italy and brought over by a friend. And I'm gonna get you guys an official review on this one. This is one that people keep asking me about. Yo, oh, Big BB, can we get the official review? It is coming. I'll probably drop it next week or maybe later on this week, man. But definitely a great fragrance to have in the collection. One that's going to drive the women wild. This is top tier when it comes to Dior own fragrances. At least that's, that's what I'm gonna tell you. And I think a lot of people out there will tell you that as well. This one has a niche type of feel to it. It's a luxury, sophisticated, it's sensual sexy everything you need to drive the ladies wild in your own pop and speaking of fragrances that are top tier when compared to their predecessors or other flankers within the collection this one is no different I gave it a 9 out of 10 in the official review this one comes from Victor and Rolf and this one is Victor and Rolf spice bomb extreme this is a more spicy more explosive take on the original spice bomb which has done well on its own and this one uh, just takes it to that next level Level. Victor and Roth said that this one is explosive, seductive, and addictive, and I believe that they are 100% correct with this fragrance here. This one is spicy. You also have some freshness with hints of bergamot. You have tobacco here, and this one is slightly sweet. This one gets you a ton of attention, and in my opinion, this one is the best fragrance from those um, Spice Bomb lineup. I would say this one is numero uno, which is why it's on today's list of 10 fragrances that drive the ladies wild. Spray this thing on and give it a test drive. This next fragrance on my list is a warm, spicy gourmand that was made with the ladies in mind. This one is a unisex scent that if you go and read any review on it, there are going to be a ton of ladies talking about how much they enjoy this fragrance. There's a ton of men within the Fragcom and within reviews that will tell you that they enjoy this fragrance. And for good reason, this one comes from Margiela and this one is by the fireplace this one is smoke this one is roasting chestnuts this one is wood this is a sweet gourmand fragrance that despite everything i'm saying it is not for everyone so uh, make sure you keep that in mind as you're wearing this in close encounter situations but i feel like more people will enjoy this than not um this one is fairly inexpensive you can pick this one up retail for 126 bucks and i think it's well worth it burning wood chestnut sweet spicy smoke 
great fragrance for cuddling because it's warm and it brings in that additional warmth that just draws people in by the fireplace from Margiela. Now this next fragrance brings us halfway through the list and this fragrance is one that definitely should be here. This one hails from Killian. This one is a sweet, spicy gourmand fragrance with a ton of notes. This one has everything from vanilla to oak to gingerbread to rum and this one is back to black from Killian, man. So this one is stated to be an aphrodisiac. If you pick up the box, this one's gonna say back to black noir aphrodisiac. And this one is made to be sensual, seductive, and to draw people in, man. So if you're looking to wear this fragrance to Ghana compliments, to drive that special someone mad, crazy, wild, insane, then this is the one to do it. Again, this one has honey in there that just gives it that additional take that attract the bees. Bzz. Buzzing around, man. Um, solid, solid fragrance from the house. This is one that most people talk about as they begin to talk about the house of Killian. Back to Black tends to make a lot of people's lists for that uh, sexual, seductive, sensual type of scent. This is one that you can wear, man. So it's on the list today for good reason of driving women wild because that's what it was made for. Back to Black Noir Aphrodisiac from Killian. This next fragrance on the list is one that you probably thought I was about to mention. This one also comes from Killian. This one is this boozy, woody, gourmandy type of scent that's heavy on vanilla, heavy on rum, and heavy in compliments. And this one is Killian's Black Phantom. Now this is one that's also not for everyone as it's dark, it's resinous, and it's gourmandy. Um, but most people that I know in the real world enjoy gourmand fragrances as they just come off of something that's enjoyable, sweet, edible type of scents. And that's what you wanna be, man. Sweet, edible to drive that woman wild, man. Definitely one that I personally recommend a ton. I've given this one a 10 out of 10 in its official review. And to me, it, it's well deserving of that 10 out of 10. Now this one is also another fragrance that can be worn um, as a unisex scent. But uh, most people that I, I found to wear this fragrance are men. And I think if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to work, it's going to be powerful, it's going to perform and not smell like everything else out there, this is definitely it. This one has this milky type of vibe to it. Again, spicy, um, milky, creamy. Just wanted, just wanted to have in a collection. My wife and I have gifted this out multiple times. We've done multiple giveaways with this fragrance. And, um, ooh. I might need some more myself, man. So Killian's Black Phantom on the list. Now we are down to the final four fragrances and this fragrance here is one that I believe has been discontinued. If it's not discontinued, it's just more difficult to find here in the US. But if you have it in your collection, you have already won. I've talked about this fragrance a lot in the past, but not so much here recently, um, simply before the fact that it's been discontinued. But um, I gotta call a spade a spade. And this is one that will definitely um, get you compliments. It'll drive the, those around you wild. And this one is from Nejma, and this one is Nejma number seven. This one is patchouli. You you have wood of Aoud, you have this sweet gourmand type of scent. Um, to me, I feel like this one is a great fragrance. Nejma number seven is a great blend of fragrance notes. You have cacao, you have coconut, you have patchouli, you have some vetiver essence in this thing, and wood of Aoud, uh, amongst a ton of other notes. Um, if I had to liken it to anything, as I've done in the past, although there was some of you out there who disagree, if I had to liken it to anything, this would be like a different type of Ultramo. Um, that's just me, man. That's, that's that's what I get from it, and I'm gonna stand on that. Uh, coconut, great, sweet fragrance I have in the collection. And this one garners a ton of compliments. Again, this one is a bit more difficult to find here in the stateside now. You could probably pick up um, samples of it, like on um, Amazon or eBay or something like that, but four bottles is difficult to find. This one was carried by Macy's, but Macy's has, again, stopped carrying it, so I'm not sure if it's like um, discontinued, or they just no longer have a partnership with the Nejma fragrance line. Nejma number seven has Oud in it, as most of the fragrances in this um, Oud line have in it, but you really can't detect it in this fragrance here. So if you're looking for a wearable Oud as well, this is one that you can wear Nejma number seven. This next fragrance is one that my wife truly enjoys. It's from Anishio. This one has white flower, it has castorium, it has musk 
And this one is absolute aphrodisiac. Listen, man, this one also has some amber in it. And this one has a different take is this one is all natural ingredients, man. Absolute aphrodisiac from Initio has the spice to it. This one isn't super strong. And to me, this one sits closer to the skin. Again, for those close encounter situations, you really can't go wrong with this one here. You have vanilla in this one. It comes off as sweet without being overly sweet. Um, this one to me is a more mature scent without, again, being super mature. <laughs> but for the price point that you would pay for something like this, that's exactly what you want. You want a fragrance that's not going to be juvenile, one that you can wear, smell like a man, and know that um, you're going to get good results with it. So Absolute Aphrodisiac from Initio is on the list. Now we are down to the final two fragrances and this one here is bold. This one is seductive and exotic. This fragrance itself was made for the man who was bold but ready to show his more sensual side. Um, this one comes from Valentino and this one is Valentino Womo Noir Absolute. Now traditionally speaking on these types of lists you would have Valentino Womo Intense on the list. However, this is one that isn't probably in as many people list and that woman that you're wearing this one around may not be as familiar with. This one to me has a niche type of feel from the line and this one again is masculine. This one is bold. So you wear this one, you're definitely going to get some attention but it's not too aggressive. And it's not like it was gonna smack you in your face, which I really enjoy that quality and aspect about this one. Valentino Womo Noir Absolute has spicy black pepper. You have rich sandalwood, and you also have cinnamon in this one that really complete the puzzle. Great one to have if you're looking to drive women wild. Valentino Womo Noir Absolute. And the final fragrance that I have for you today is no stranger to this list or any list of this type or any list in general. This one is a 2018 release, a revamped, revised fragrance from 2016. And this one comes from the master of seduction himself, Tom Forty Ford. And this one is Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Now this one to me is a nighttime monster. This one is seductive, sensual, and smells like a man should smell. Now oftentimes when you talk about leather based fragrances, some people may think of harsh, sharp type of scents, but this one here is really softened down by the violet that's in this fragrance. And again, this is one that has been enjoyable and it's made a number of lists. I, I think that this one gets even better as it's been released in the signature line as, as it wasn't a private blend and it was a, a lot more expensive. And I think that having a fragrance at this price point um, with this type of quality just takes it to the next level. Um, Tom Ford Ombre Leather is definitely one you can wear to drive the ladies wild. More specifically in the fall and winter, this is definitely gonna help you get the job done, man. Black on black on black on black. Hang out with this thing here, man. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. That's what I have for you today, man. 10 fragrances that will drive the ladies wild. All right, man. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, found some new fragrances, found some that you enjoy, and maybe you even found some that have confirmed the way you thought they would work for you, or you know, if you were thinking about picking any of these up, I will have some links listed down below for you. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard Beat. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and we are back again. Listen, man, once the quarantine over, you know, driving wild. If you're watching this after quarantine, you have no choice and no excuse but to go ahead and drive some ladies wild. But before you go, hit the goddamn bell.